Well, hello there. Christmas has come and gone, but the sales have begun. Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 181. Let's open some Star Wars mystery ornaments and other closeout buys. <laughs> Well, the after-holiday sales have begun as the stores try to close out on their Christmas-type merchandise. And, you know, some of that merchandise has a Star Wars theme. You know, I live in rural Minnesota, so the nearest big box store to me is about 30-plus miles away. Well, I take that back. I have one Walmart store that's within 30 miles. So yes, I did visit that store to see if I could find any holiday merchandise. In fact, I was looking for three Star Wars mugs that I was hoping would still be there and at half price. Well, those mugs were gone. Now, ah, well. But I did find a few other things that I thought would be fun to add to the collection. And you know, I bought some of these mystery ornaments, seeing that they were half price or they were less than three bucks a piece. So I thought, let's see if I have all seven of these. And one nice thing is I also got the box that came along with it. And with that box was one ornament that was already on display with the box that they didn't charge me for. So I thought that was kind of neat. So after you like this video and share it with your friends, and of course hit that subscription button if you haven't already, we'll get started. Well, first things first, I did find a couple other ornaments that I did not have in the last video a couple videos ago that I was able to pick up. And of course, the best part is, got them for half price, but what they normally would have been. So the first one here is Boba Fett. I kind of thought I had this one, but I guess I didn't. Kind of a nice ornament, just kind of shows Boba Fett waiting with his rifle for somebody to show up. And this is from the television series, as you can see by the uh, skirt or kilt that he's wearing down at the bottom there. So a nice one to add to the collection to kind of fill a hole that I had. The other one is Boba Fett, the Funko Pop series ornament, or Funko Pop inspired, however you want to call that. You see, this is Boba Fett, but I believe this is more like from the original trilogy as far as the design goes. So we've got the TV series and the original trilogy. Different looks to Boba Fett here, but two nice additions to fill in a couple holes that I had in my collection. What else did I pick up? Well, this I wasn't even expecting. I just happened to be looking through and found this. And it's a popcorn tin. So nothing too special there. But this popcorn tin, as you can see, has a Grogu theme. We got Grogu the Elf. And of course, like I said, it's got popcorn in it. In fact, it's got caramel corn, butter corn, and white cheddar corn. And to tell the truth, I have some friends coming over tonight, so I think we're going to be eating this when they get here. But a nice tin, I thought I could put plenty of stuff in here, small stuff, you know, just the little things, just to kind of keep it all together. Another thing I found that really wasn't a Christmas decoration, but was a Christmas Lego find, was this two-pack of Star Wars Lego. And this happens to include the at, -at walk or the ATST Walker from Hoth, and another Hoth set that features a lot of stormtroopers. So if we look at the back, those are the two sets that this does include. It's the two-in-one Hoth battle set, basically. And normally, this sold for $45, and I wasn't going to buy this for $45. Although $45 for 691 pieces isn't too bad a price. But waited a little bit and was able to pick it up for only $29. So about a third off. So I didn't think that was too bad. And uh, to tell the truth, I already have these two. So this might be one I'm going to have to open at some point and actually put together. Kind of fun to be able to do that once in a while, especially when you get it at a good price. 
Now the next two things I found, I normally would not have picked up because I don't do a whole lot of decorating around the house for the holidays, especially outside. It's Minnesota, it gets cold. I'm getting to the point in my life, I don't really care for the cold like maybe I did when I was younger. But these two things I couldn't pass up, especially at the price they are, because they were about the price. In fact, I think they're now less than the price of a vintage action figure. What could these things be? Well, let me tell you. The first one here is a blow up or one of these balloons that you can put in the yard. Grogu, holiday Grogu. It's an air blown inflatable. Well, I think that would actually be, it would actually look pretty good in my front yard. Uh, the thing is five feet tall. So this thing is nearly as tall as me, not quite. But five feet tall, that's a pretty big Grogu. But it looks pretty cool. Uh, it does have a light inside, of course, because most of these things do. And one nice thing with this one, it looks like the light is up by the head. Best part is, it's just a one-piece balloon. Don't have to worry about putting pieces together or anything for this one. So I thought, what the heck, for $15, I will buy this and think about it next year as far as putting it up outside. The other one I have, or the other thing I found, is also an inflatable balloon for the front yard. And this one happens to be Darth Vader. Once again, regular price, $29.97, on sale for half price, so 15 bucks. And here again, if we take a look at Darth Vader a little closer, we can see he is also five feet tall, uh, wearing a Santa cap on top of his helmet. And I do like the sign he's holding out on the Sith day of Christmas. Lights up, it kind of looks like it's probably about by the head again where the light is. So I thought these two finds are pretty good. to get big action figures for only $15. I couldn't pass that up. Would I have looked at these normally? No, in fact, when I went through the Christmas decoration area over the last month, I didn't even see these two things. So you could tell my, my vision for Star Wars decorations was pretty much offline, except for the small ones. That's basically what I was looking for. I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about these. Now, let me get this stuff out of the way because it's time to open up some of those mystery ornament boxes. When I was in the store, and I went back twice, first time I got a few of these, the second time I thought, ah, I'm just gonna get the rest of the box because there are seven various figures that you could get. We have a Boba Fett, a Wicket the Ewok, a Peter Bike Trooper, looks like Padme, Luke Skywalker, or maybe that's, no, that's Princess Leia in her Bosch garb. We have Han Solo and Carbonite, and we have Lando Calrissian. Kind of looks like a Return of the Jedi type set of ornaments. Now, like I said, I took the whole box. And one thing I noticed here is it does have a little figure that was on display from the front of the box. And that happens to be Luke Skywalker in his Jedi armor or Jedi, black Jedi gear. So I thought that was kind of nice. And like I said, they didn't charge me for it. I didn't know if they would or not, but I guess as far as they were concerned, it was just part of the box design. So, but now I want to see if I've got all seven of them. So let's figure out how to open these. And let's have some fun and see what I can find. And I better have all seven of these because I did buy 20 of them. Okay. I kind of like the box. Um, there it says Hallmark Mystery Ornament with a big question mark on the side. Looks like it just pulls apart. And with this particular one, we have Wicket the Ewok. So kind of a cute little figure when you look at him. Um, in some ways, I think this almost looks better than some of the other Wickets I've seen. So we got our start. We have Wicket the Ewok, and unfortunately, he's got rounded legs. So he ain't, is not going to stand very well. So we'll just lay him here. Or, can we do it that way? I do like that they have these little zip strips 
to open things up. When they work properly. Let's find out what we have this time. And if it's another wicket, I'm not going to be very happy. Nope, but we do have our second Luke Skywalker. So, same one that we had as a decoration on the box. So there's Luke. Ah, uh, which one should we grab next? Let's grab this one. It is kind of fun sliding these boxes open. All right. We're, we're battling really well here so far. Got another wicket. Well, out of four, four ornaments, when I include the bun on the box, I've got two doubles. Not doing very well. And with this box, all right, we got a different one. This time, we have got Boba Fett. And you know, this one actually looks pretty sharp. I like this Boba Fett. I have to say, they've done a good job with these figures. Of course, they do come with a little string that you can hang them with for your tree. But overall, a very cute looking figure. All right. We got our fourth one, and this one happens to be a speeder bike trooper. We've got four out of the seven now. And again, I, I do like these. Um, they're kind of fun co, or you could even say peanuts oriented. The head is bigger than the body. So, but it gives them a kind of a cute look. So I'm not gonna complain about it. And this time, Another trooper. Well, only got three left. Hopefully we have the other three here. I am kind of hoping that I don't have to open them all before I get to all seven of them. And if I don't have all seven of them out of 20, I am not going to be a happy camper. Hey, we've got another new one here. This time we have Princess Leia in her bow armor. This is cute. I do like these. They are very, very cute. I maybe should have started picking these up other Christmases too, because if they're doing one movie per year, I guess I missed out on a couple of these, a couple of movies. So there we have Princess Leia. Okay, that gives us five. And what do we have here? It's a another Boba Fett. So we've got at least two Boba Fetts. Come on, let this be a different one. Let this be one I don't have already. <clears throat> All right. I oh, I like this one. We have the Han Solo in Carbonite, which is actually pretty cute also. Just one color all the way around. They could have made the outside black at least, but they just made them silver, so very simplified thing. They don't have a whole lot of detail on this one, but... It is a great little act or a little ornament. Okay, so that gives me six out of seven. The question is, do we have the seventh? That would really be great if this is the seventh one. Can I be that lucky? Nope. We have another wicket. Well, we're getting an Ewok clan going on here. Wicket's in the lead with three. I believe I'm missing a Lando, so hopefully this is not a Lando. But we do have a second Princess Leia. Come on, Lando. Yes, I have Lando. We do have Lando. We have all seven of them, or I have all seven of them. We have all seven of them because I opened this up with you. Looking at Lando here, I, like I said, these things are so cute. I could see having a little Christmas tree and just hanging these on them. And it really makes me sad that I have not collected these in other years because I did not realize how cute these little buggers are. Maybe what I'm going to have to do is go on eBay and see if I can find some from previous years. But as of right now, for this year's collection, I have all seven of the Return of the Jedi mystery ornaments. What do you think? Have you collected any of these? 
Which ones do you have? Let me know down in the comments. I'm glad I've got all seven and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight others here that I have not opened. And you know what? I think I might just leave them closed for now. I have my seven. I know I have a set. That's what really matters. I wouldn't be surprised that maybe I have two sets here. Would be kind of nice. Well, we're going to finish it up with this video. Let me know what you think of my super buys in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting.